My name is Naveen Chauhan and we are now on the unit number four, subject computer networks and the unit fourth is transport layer. So in transport layer, uh, there are, we have a two types of uh, connection, so connection oriented and connection less uh, protocol. So if we select the connection oriented protocol, so it means the both the application must or the two, two, two communicating parties should maintain a connection. So it means firstly they need to establish a one connection. Once the establishment phase has completed, then the, both the parties can, can simultaneously transmit the data from might be the one of the sites is sending the data and other sites is just responding with the help of technology. So once the second phase will complete like the, the data transfer. So the third one, which is very important, obviously is once we have created a connection, establish a connection initially, then we have to uh, disconnect it. So, so during this uh, this uh, video, I will tell you uh, how the TCP creates a connection, establish a connection, and I will try with uh, some examples of uh, taking some picture snippets through which I will explain how in a real time scenario, like if I will connect with the Google server, so it will first, so my web browser will first try to establish a connection so there will be a three-way handshaking process. So very important topic that is a three-way handshaking connection establishment as well as there is a three-way is also, the term is also used in respect to the, the, the connection the, the connection termination. So let's see what are the, the, the content that I will go through during this video. So first I will explain the connection management. I already talked a uh, few things about the connection management. Then there are the control fields which is uh, which I already told you in the in the TCP header segment. So there are the six fields of uh, the the fields which having the six different fields control fields. We can say it's a control field or a flat field, which is very important when we are transmitting the data or when we are establishing a connection or when the third phase that is the connection termination. Then we'll move on to the connection establishment, which is very important. The three-way handshaking. So it is a three-way. Uh, procedure once the all the three ways successfully completed then only we can say the connection has been established successfully then after the establishment uh, there is a data transfer phase and once all the parties have uh, finished with their data then they can try to termination so there are the three three different two different strategies so one we have a three-way handshaking and another one we have the half close so let's start with the connection management. So I already discussed that in the transport layer, we have a two types of uh, the protocol, the transmission control protocol and user datagram, UDP. However, the TCP is a connection oriented protocol and the UDP is a connectionless protocol. So if it is a connectionless, don't worry about the establishment and the, uh, in the termination. So whenever you have a data, just transmit itself. So in very simple example, uh, it can consider uh, uh, the simple mail transmission protocol. So the SMTP protocol, we are selecting this, we are collecting this, uh, picking the application protocol from the application layer, and then we'll select the UDP from the uh, transport layer. So it means in that case, both the parties from the, the email is generating and the mail transfer, mail transfer agent uh will just receive this packet so there will be no establishment of the connection so that's why we don't worry about the connection establishment and termination with respect to the udp but still because uh, we have two flavors on the transport layer the one is the connection oriented so this is the tcp transmission control protocol so a connection oriented transport protocol establish a virtual path the reason is why it's a virtual path the reason is that uh uh we, we have if we recall the unit one concept, we have uh, uh, studied the the OSI reference model. So in that case, the the only the physical layer which is physically connected with the with the subordinate uh, layer on the receiver side. However, rest of the layers are just pairing. So this is a virtual pairing between these bit, between on the same level of the layers. So that's why on the serve source and on the destination. So these transport layers can establish a virtual path it means whatever i am flowing from one side definitely it will be received on the another side so all the segments so uh, we already know that if we are selecting the uh, if we are selecting the tcp in that case the packet is known as a segment so all the segments belonging to a message are then sent over the, this virtual path so and uh, I already mentioned. So what I am just flowing from one side, it will be received on the another side because it's showing a establish a virtual path. 
<laughs> then uh, the connection oriented transmission requires three phases. So the, in TCP, this connection management is completed with the three phases. The first one is your connection establishment. Then we have to complete the data transfer. After the completion of the data transfer, then we have a connection termination. So the, all the three should be completed to achieve the complete transmission of the data in the TCP. So before moving on to the connection, actual trans three way handshaking connection management, again, I'm just recalling the concept of control fields. So there was the one field or there is a one of the uh, six bits of field in in the TCP header segment. Where are the six bits bits are defined? The first is the urgent bit. If you want to transmit some, if you want to uh, transmit this urgent segment, so some of the time, I, I already mentioned one of the application or one of the situation when the urgent bit is required. So urgent bit, whenever you want to transmit a urgent segment, then this bit should be one. Otherwise, it will be treated as a normal one. Uh, let's suppose a, a machine or a system or a source is sending continuous segments. However, there is a last segment which is very important, which uh, which is totally depends to terminate the connection to reset the connection. So it should be reaches to the destination first instead of the the starting of segments. So if I'm if the system picks the urgent bits or this bit is set to one, so the system will pick the urgent segment and it will be transmitted before the before the starting segments. So acknowledgement, if any system or if any machine is sending the acknowledgement, this bit should be set to one. Then we have a push. So first time we are pushing some data. So if you have a, uh, not enough data to fill the window, then you can set the push, uh, push bit set to be one. So whatever the whatever your stream will get the data from your layer, it will be transmitted. It will be uh, immediately it will be transmitted towards the receiver side. Then reset, if you want to reset the connection, which have, which over already be established. So if you set the RS, uh, reset bit as set to one, so that connection will be reset immediately. Then sync, uh, then this is the synchronization sequence number during the connection. So it is very important when we are synchronizing the, when established, once we are establishing a connection. So we will negotiate on a specific number. So I will transmit one number to you. So if you agree with this number, you will just transmit by, you will respond with the plus one synchronous synchronization number. So it will be set up a negotiation between these two parties. Then there is a fence bit. If it is set to be one, it means it is a termination request. So both the parties, because both the parties have established a connection. So it means both the parties should finish the bit, should terminate the connection on their chance, on their occurrence. So this is showing uh, the picture in the, in the pictureization. You can see this is the, uh, the how a active client is transmitting the uh, some synchronization bits to the server. So it tried to establish a connection. You can see there are the three processes. So the active client will transmit some synchronization bit to the server. Then sync server, if it is ready, then it will respond with the synchronization plus acknowledgement. And then client sends the acknowledgement back to the server. So this is the three-way handshaking protocol. Now let me explain. So because the client wants to establish a connection with the server. So the client should be inactive. However, the server is in passive. So it means it will not initiate any uh, connection. So if a client wants to establish a connection, then only it will activate the connection or it will send a first request. So now you can see I'm sending a synchronization bit. So I'm setting this one. This bit is one. And now I'm taking uh, any specific number, which is which is in respect to the available number of sequence. So I can select 8000. So it doesn't matter whatever the number I have, I can transmit it. Right. So it is a 32 bit of field. So to the power of 32 number, different numbers can be selected as a sequence number. So you can select a different sequence numbers for a different, different, different communications with the different servers. So let's suppose I want to establish a connection with this server. So I'm just selecting a sequence number is 8000 and sending a one synchronization bit. So synchronization bit is set to be one. Now, once it reaches to the server, now server, if uh, it is agreed to establish a connection with this client, so it will 
ट्रांसमिट अ एक्नोलेजमेंट सो इट विल ट्रांसमिट एन एक्नोलेजमेंट एन एक्नोलेजमेंट शुड बी द जस्ट वन प्लस इंक्रीमेंटेड नंबर वट एवर इट रिसीव आर द सिक्वेंस सो दैट्स वाई नाउ यू कैन सी द एक्नोलेजमेंट इज एट थाउजेंड वन सो इट सो दैट्स वाई द ए इज दिस बिट इज सेट टू वन इट्स मीन्स इट इज कंटेनिंग एन एक्नोलेजमेंट राइट एज वेल एज बिकॉज माइट बी इट कैन सेंड सम सम डेटा इन फ्यूचर लेट सपोज I want to establish a connection with the Google server, and then I want to download some software. So obviously, server will send some data, and obviously, I will send some data. So it means both the parties must must negotiate on a different different sequence number. So I can understand your sequence number, whatever the sequence number you will you may uh, send in future, right? So that's why the acknowledgement is eight thousand one, which is the response of. this received sequence so it should be 8001 then the server have a some specific unique number 15000 so similarly like the client you can select any specific number whatever the number you have as as a free uh, as a free in a pool so let's suppose the server have a 15000s number as a sequence so it means the synchronization bit also be set it as a one so i'm sending the, so the server is sending synchronization plus the acknowledgement so once it reaches to the client now there is no need to transmit actual sequence number by the client again because it already requested and in a response i'm getting the response right now there is a only one term which is missing that is it also respond the client needs to respond on the basis of received sequence number so it needs to be responded by the by the client i am agree on your sequence number right so the the server is responded with the acknowledgement 8001 it means i am agree whatever the sequence number you have selected it means similarly the client also acknowledged about the acknowledged sequence number that is being selected by the server so that's why here you can see the acknowledgement is just the incremented plus one increment incremented number that is the 15001 however the sequence number is just the same whatever it is sent it is sent by the on a first phase in a first way that's why it is because i am not sending any specific sequence number further i am just acknowledging it so it means on an acknowledgement our uh, data when any one of on the machine or any of the party is sending only the uh, the sequence number that it will carry uh, the different sequence number if it is carry only the acknowledgement that there will be the there will be the no new sequence number so this is showing the three way handshaking through the connection will be established between the two parties right so i'm just showing you can see here the synchronization segment cannot carry the data so it means it not carry exactly the data but they are but it consuming a sequence number the reason is they are negotiating on their different different sequence sequence numbers a sequence plus which is a second way uh, the sequence synchronization plus acknowledgement segment cannot carry data again it's not carrying the data but the it's consume the sequence number because of this synchronization number then the third phase is the client is sending the acknowledgement to the to the receiver so if carrying no data so it will not consume any sequence number so this is the captured uh, uh, captured scenario when i just establish a connection with the google so here is the destination this is the google google ip address 142250195.14 which is google.com so this is the my machine uh, address i'm sending uh, through one request http request to the web browser so it will send the first uh, tcp connection so it is trying to establish a connection so you can see the all the three the top three are the tcp protocol let's mean this is the three way handshaking so i'm just sending so my machine sending sequence number 0 and in 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 response it will receive the acknowledgement number 1 which is just incremented one so on a on a third phase you can see the sequence number should be 1 and the acknowledgement should be the just the just the incremented value of the sequence number that is received from the server side and then once the connection established then only the the actual ftp request will the http request will be sent to the the google server there are some situation or the some problems with this uh, the three way handshaking the first one if the both the parties they simultaneously open the connection with the with the with, with each other so in that case there will be only the one active open so the rare situation 
let's suppose both the are the client and the server machine the both the client and server the, the client and server are running on on both these machines so one of the situation that really it can be happened so in in that case both the company both the parties they simultaneously open a connection with with each, each other so in that case there will be only one active open so in this case both tcp transmit and sync and plus acknowledgement segment to each other and one single connection established between them and there will be only the one established connection another one that is called the denial of service dos attack and it is very famous attack so sync flooding attack in that case one of the party the connection establishment procedure in the tcp is susceptible to a serious security problem called the sync synchronize synchronization flooding attack or sync flooding attack we more normally called it so this happens when a malicious attacker sends a large number of sync segments to a receive to a server pretending that each of them is coming from different different client by faking or by modifying the source ip addresses right so it means it seems that they are coming from the different different sources so the server will create will transmit the sync and acknowledgement segment to each and every client but these are the fake clients so it means every every sync and acknowledgement segment will be lost so during this the resources will be occupied to overcome this problem there are some solutions the first solution is to impose a limit of connection request during a specified period of time so we can limit if more than that particular threshold value we are getting that many numbers of uh, uh, the connection establishment request so we will we will not respond if this particular value is reaches to a threshold value another solution is filter out the suspicious uh, unwanted source addresses or suspicious or unwanted addresses so there are some now the, the the servers are more capable and more intelligent now they can filter out these type of source addresses so sync flooding attack belongs to a very popular type of security attack known as the denial of service attack dos attack so for more details you can refer the the frozen textbook the textbook name is uh, data communication and networking fifth edition and it is the part of the chapter number 13 thank you thank you everyone